Salut à tous, bienvenue sur Actu MMA. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour une interview. On accueille Matt Frévola, le prochain adversaire de Benoît Saint-Denis pour l'UFC 295. Il a des choses à nous raconter. C'est parti So, hi Matt, uh, how are you? Where are you? What do you do this week? Preparations good? Yeah, yeah, preparations going great. Uh, I'm home, Long Island, New York, um, and uh, we're we're in training camp. I'm working hard, about five weeks out now from the fight. So I'm really turning everything up, getting my weight down, getting in shape, and uh, I'm feeling great. So you are in a preparation, big card. Uh, you have a big fight on a big card, UFC uh, 295 in New York, Madison Square Garden, Jones versus Mursic. Um Are you excited to this fight in this event? Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, I love fighting at Madison Square Garden. Uh, it's the most famous arena in the world. And uh, this is my third time now fighting there. And, uh, you know, it's my home. And... Uh, And I'm excited. It's an awesome card. You know, John Jones, Stipe in the main event. You got Alex Pereira and Yuri Prohaksha in the co-main event. The card's looking great. You know, I got two teammates on the card with me. So we're all in fight camp together. And uh, it's it's all going great. Uh, it's, it can be a very big night, a uh, big event. Uh, you are going to fight against Benoit Saint-Denis, French fighter unranked uh, in lightweight division. Uh, you are 14th. Uh, are you confident? And what is your analysis of this fight? Yeah, uh, Benoit's a great fighter. You know, he's a true warrior. Uh, he's on a four-fight winning streak with two submissions, two knockouts. So he's well-rounded. You know, and, and I love that because I'm the same way. Um, I, I love uh, jujitsu. I love grappling and wrestling. And I love uh, standing up and fighting. And uh, both of us, you know, we bring it. And uh, that's, that's what you're going to expect when we fight and we, when we meet in that octagon. You got two warriors who are not going to back down and we're going to throw down. Uh, and uh, with uh, Benoît Saint-Denis, instead of uh, Benoît Saint-Denis, uh, did the UFC offer you the chance to fight other guys before? Uh, why, did you, why did you accept this fight? Um, I wanted to fight at Madison Square Garden. You know, that's my home. Um, I'm a New York guy. And uh, I always have that, that, like, that date starred. I always want to fight at Madison Square Garden. And, uh, and I always want to fight the toughest guys available. And um, watching... You know, uh, Benoit, uh, Benoit, he's, uh, you know, watching him, his his streak that he's been going on, I've, I've always had my eye on him. And I knew that, you know, eventually that he would be, you know, at the top of the division and that uh, we would we would uh, fight eventually. Mm. So it's a it's a big opportunity for you. Um, Madison Square Garden, UFC uh, offer you this fight and you say immediately yes. If I understand, yeah, yeah, right, right. When they offered, I said yes, um, just because uh, because I love the fight. You know, I, I want to fight. You know, true warriors in the octagon. You know, and and he's one of them. So that's that's what really the fight really excited me. Yes, very very excited fight. Um, I have another question. What's the point of taking on a guy like Benoit Saint Denis, uh, who isn't ranked? Is not dangerous for you? Yeah, you know, a lot of guys who are ranked, they kind of like, they only want to fight up, you know, they only want to fight guys who are ranked ahead of them. Um, but for me, it's like styles make fights. Like, I just look at a fighter, you know, if, if that fight really excites me, then that's the fight I want. I don't care about rankings or whatever. And, uh, and he, you know, the way he fights, you know, what he brings really excites me. And, and that's the, that's the kind of test that I want to do. So it's the same for you if uh, it's a ranked fighter or not. Um, in this fight, uh, we have a big, big, big storytelling. Two former soldiers from uh, US Army, you and the French Army. Um, it will be say that we are going to see a war uh, between Saint Denis and you. Yeah, hundred percent. You know that that that's the way he fights, and that's the way I fight. You know, we're two warriors, and we're going to be in that cage, and we're going to be fighting. 
and the best man will win. Uh, you will be fighting on November events, a symbolic date, Veterans Day. Uh, can you tell me about your career in the army? How long did you stay and about your regiment too? Uh, yeah, I was, I was in the army reserves for eight years. And, um, you know, I, I didn't go on any deployments, but I, I served my country and I'm proud of that. Um, and uh, to be fighting on Veterans Day against another veteran from, from France Is a, is a dream come true. And, um, you know, it's going to be great, you know, to have two, you know, veterans in there fighting and uh, especially on Veterans Day on a huge card. I'm hoping that we're going to be on, a, on the main card. So it's going to, the atmosphere is going to be amazing. Amazing, uh, amazing uh, dates, amazing events. Uh, does your career in the army help you in your life? as a fighter today? Oh, yes, 100%. You know, being being in the army just really uh, instilled like a warrior warrior ethos in me. And, uh, and I carry that out with everything I do with my training, with my martial arts training, and then my life. And um, it definitely has taught me a lot. And, um, and I'm still using that all to this day. So today, uh, um, your army passed help you for your fighter uh, fighter fighter life um, um, you say on Twitter you suggest a custom camo shorts for the fights uh, have you heard back from the UFC about, that, about this um, is it going to happen uh, I haven't heard from the UFC yet but I saw Dana White did, did uh, an interview after the contender series and he said he likes the idea so I think it would be very cool if uh, both of us can, you know, represent, uh, you know, our militaries and on Veterans Day and uh, go in there and put on a, a great fight for the people. Oh, it can be a good idea. Uh, according to the bookmakers, uh, you're not favorite in this fight. You're underdog. Uh, do you agree with that? Um, you know, I'm always the underdog. You know, I've, I've been an underdog my entire life. You know, uh, uh, I was never, I was never the biggest. I was never the fastest. I was never the strongest. But, um, but I, I, I work hard. You know, I work hard, and I got that dog in me. I have that grit, and um, that's what I, that's what I use. You know, I, I like, I love to uh, prove people wrong, and, uh, you know, it, I love, I love being the underdog. You know, even, even if I wasn't the underdog. I still have an underdog mentality that I that I need to go out there and show people, you know, how good I am. And uh, this this fight is gonna is gonna do that. You know, um, nobody wants to fight uh, Benoit. Uh, uh, Benoit. Nobody wants to fight him. He's he's uh, he's an amazing fighter. He's killing people. Um, and as soon as I got offered that fight, it excited me because those are the guys I want to fight. I want to fight the guys that everyone, you know, wants to run from because I don't do that. You know, I step up and I fight the toughest guys I can. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Yo, so it's the same for you. Never change. Uh, have you watched uh, any of Benoit and Denis fights? Uh, what do you think uh, about this fighter? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I remember watching, watching all his fights uh, before I was even scheduled to fight him. And I remember thinking that this guy's this guy's very good, and uh, he's going to be at the top of the division eventually. And and now he's you know he's got a he's he's up there and he's got a chance to get ranked. And uh, you know I'm going to show the world why I'm the top you know lightweight around. And and the time is now for me to uh, to keep climbing the ranks and uh, and to go for the title. Oh, that's okay, uh, your ambition. Um, I have another question, uh, because here in France, uh, people are really hyped. Uh, we have a big hype about around Benoît Saint-Denis. Uh, he is almost undefeated. Um, it's a big discussion there in France. Uh, is it? Um, my question is, is this a dangerous fight for you? Dangerous or not fight? Yeah, you know, every, every fight is dangerous, especially at this level, especially when, when you get to the top of the division. 
um, you know, we're all good. We all can fight. And uh, now it's about, you know, who's who's preparing the right way and uh, who's going to show up on that day and uh, really, you know, bring bring their best. So it's a big, uh, big challenge for you. Um, what can be the key for you? Uh, you know, the key to to beat uh, Benoît Saint Denis. Um, you know, I'm gonna go in there and fight. You know, my my last three fights have ended in uh, first round knockouts. Um, you know, I, I believe I could do the same uh, right for this next fight. Uh, but I'm prepared for for a three round war. You know, I, I I will be prepared for 15 minutes, and uh, and I'm gonna be working for the finish. That's that's what that's how I fight. Every fight, I want to finish, whether it be knockout, whether it be submission, whether it be TKO. Um, I'm in there, and I'm I'm prepared for 15 minutes uh, until I get a finish. Uh, you say uh, you say the finish, and you say uh, three rounds raw. Uh, ju just uh, what type of fight can we expect? Uh, a first round finish or a big raw in three rounds? Is two options. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll take the first round finish all day. You know, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, it's a. Uh, prepared for the it, war. You're you're ready for the war in three rounds, in two rounds, in. You already. Even if it's a one-round war and I get the finish in the first round, I'll take. I'm prepared. Oh, I know he's tough, um, and I'm prepared uh, for for 15 minutes if if it takes that long. Oh, that's okay. Uh, your fight is on the uh, on the main card or prelims? You know. Um, I. The game? It should be on the main card. Uh, they haven't like released the the order yet, but I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on the main card. Oh, that's okay. It's a good, uh, good information. Um, the last question, Matt. Uh, what is your official predicts for this fight? Um, you know, I, you know, making predictions is tough, but uh, you know, I say it goes. I say it goes like the last three. You know, let me get, let me get a nice first round knockout. How about, how's that sound? <laughs> no decision. No, definitely no decision. You know, it's I, he's a he's a finisher. I'm a finisher. So, uh, uh, you know, I I think you know someone's getting finished. That's okay. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Matt. Merci uh, pour uh, cette interview, Matt. Uh, C'est la fin de cette interview. Merci à vous de l'avoir regardé. N'hésitez pas à partager, à commenter, à liker, à nous suivre. On vous offrira, on vous offrira plein de contenu dans les semaines à venir, des interviews, des reportages, des podcasts, des décryptages. En tout cas, restez avec nous, suivez-nous, ça fait toujours plaisir. On se retrouve très vite pour de nouveaux contenus, à bientôt.